Father in heaven, we ask that you speak to us as we listen to your word today. Address issues. Father, your children are right in their home, in their offices. They are in different parts of the world. I don't see them, Lord, but they can see me. Some of them will have to hear me later. Lord, I pray as I proclaim your word. I am hanging on your word. In Psalm 107, in verse 20, that says, You sent forth your word. And you said, Your word heals. And your word delivered. Father, I pray as I proclaim this word with all these ministers of the gospel right here. Lord, stretch forth your healing hands and heal yourself. Save souls for yourself. Win souls to your kingdom and glorify your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Wherever you are, I want you to wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are happy wherever you are, shout a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you know that Jesus is right in your room, in your office, wherever this world is meeting you, shout a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to share briefly with you from Philippians chapter 2. I'm going to be sharing from verse 9 and verse 10. And after sharing this with you, I will go into ministration proper. Look at verse 9. I will need the man on that keyboard on the lowest key. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven. Of things in earth. And things under the earth. I read verse 10 again. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven. Of things in earth. And things under the earth. I share with you briefly on a topic titled power in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. The kingdom of our God is a mystery. Jesus came down to the earth offering us explanations about his kingdom. And for Jesus Christ, as he was trying to introduce the kingdom to the disciples and to the crowd, he introduced the kingdom not just as something that can be assessed just like that he introduced the kingdom to them as a mystery he introduced the kingdom to them as a revelation he said in mark chapter 4 in verse 11 and 12 he says the disciples asked him and said master why do you speak so much in parable and jesus replied that they have eyes that many have eyes they can't see some others have ears they can't hear he said but unto you it has been given the power to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of god number one that passed to us that the kingdom of god is a mystery if it is not revealed to you you cannot find it it has to be revealed to you for you to assess it Jesus said, unto you it has been given to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God. That is why sometimes when you follow this God, the other people outside there, some other people will not understand why you dance, why you praise God, why you jump up, why you, why you carry this God in your life. Because the kingdom of God is a mystery. They wonder what is getting you excited in the midst of rubbish and hard situation. 
and the reason why we don't manifest the name of jesus christ and use the name of jesus to conquer powers is because we don't have knowledge we have limited knowledge of the power that is behind the name of jesus until the mystery behind the name of jesus is given to you you cannot have access to his manifestation many of us do not know the extent of god's power that is bestowed upon the name called jesus so therefore our ignorance is clear so when god wants to change your life the biggest revelation you can discover today is the revelation of the name of jesus christ because when you have such a revelation it changes your perception it changes your understanding and it also gives you access to manifest the power that is behind the name because whatever you don't know you don't have access to the bible says my people perish for the lack of knowledge they perish because they lack knowledge so when you understand the power behind the name you have access to manifestation of the mightiness of god look at this the first question i know you want to ask me is this brother gibson what actually makes the name of jesus so special brother why is the name of jesus so special why why is the name of jesus so special look at this number one i will tell you that the name of jesus christ is special because just like every man there, every man is named by the father, named by their mother. The mother, the father, name you what they want you to bear. And when they name you what they want you to bear, you bear that thing, they name you. That name, they name you, begin to follow you. That is why we have naming ceremonies where we name our children what we want them to bear. But the name of Jesus is different. And the name of Jesus is special because it was not the father it was not joseph it was not mary that named jesus the name jesus was given to him by god himself god himself gave him a name the bible says in luke chapter 1 verse 31 that the angel said to mary you have been favored you will conceive and you shall bear a son and his name shall be called jesus the angel did not just talk about his name. The angel talked about his assignment. His name revealed the assignment. So before they named him, the day they were making the mother to understand the name of Jesus, they want the, at the same time, the angel made the mother to understand the, the, the destiny of the child, the purpose of the name. And he says his name shall be called Jesus. His name shall be called Jesus. He shall become the savior of the world. He shall save his people from damnation. He shall save his people from destruction. He shall save them from sin. That man Jesus was called a savior. So right there, he was named not by man, not by any father, not by any uncle. No other uncle, no brother, no friend, no mother named him. He was named by the whole host of heaven they gave him the name above every other name they called him jesus the savior again you ask me brother gibson why is this name so special <laughs> i will tell you again that the name of jesus is not just about the name what makes him special is the personality the totality of the person jesus every other man outside there were all born out of intercourse intercourse between male and female mother and father they come together to give birth to a son or a daughter and they name the daughter so every one of us have this adamic sign adamic nature in us every one of us have this so-called original sign we are all product of Adam. So from the Adamic nature of man and woman meeting together, that is how we all came to be. But Jesus didn't come through that pattern. That is why he's so special. Jesus was divinity. The arrival of Jesus is based on divinity meeting with humanity. 
so that humanity can give birth to divinity so divinity interfere in the affairs of humanity god came down to man so that man can give birth to god so whom divinity come down to this place divinity came down to the and entered into man so it was the meeting of god upon the life of mary and jesus came to be luke chapter 1 verse 36 the bible said when mary mother mary asked and said mary asked and said how can this be and then the angel replied the holy ghost shall come upon you when the holy ghost comes upon you you shall conceive and you shall bear the son and the son name shall be called jesus the bible said and the word was made flesh and he dwelt among us the joyful part of this thing is the name of jesus that jesus himself has no adamic sin that jesus himself have nothing to do with the adamic sin he was not born out of any sin he was born clean from heaven he was born direct from the throne of grace he does not have any contamination the, that is why if you trace the blood inside jesus the blood inside jesus just like every man blood can be traceable to the dna dna will tell you the connection within the father and then the son but beloved when you check the one of jesus it will not rhyme with the one of joseph because what you will discover is the one of his father the blood of the father runs in him no wonder by his blood we are saved no wonder the blood has the capacity to heal no wonder by his stripes we are healed and by his wound we are made whole no wonder the, the blood has the capacity to turn around situation no wonder the bible said that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony no wonder the blood of jesus has so much enabling strength to wash away man's sin no wonder the blood of jesus touched the ground and the and the atmosphere of the earth changed no wonder the blood touched the ground and there was earthquake everywhere because that blood was not just an ordinary blood no wonder the blood touched the ground and the, 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 the cutting that is covering the holy of holies tore into pieces. Why? Because the blood of the anointed one touched the ground. And do you know one thing that is giving me joy? Why I know that God is involved in this healing night? Why I know that God instruction to me to gather people from every part of the world and minister this prayer of healing to you is really from God. I saw that in Luke chapter 1 in verse 26 that when this angel was sent to Mary to deliver this message of this so-called savior and give her a name that is above every other name that the, the name that is above every other name of the name of the son that will come out of a boy beloved 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 that discover in verse 26 that date that month is the month of june the bible call it the sixth month it was the bible say at the sixth month of the year the angel was sent into the to the house to the house of joseph to proclaim to a damsel to a virgin and said to her you are favored and this is another sixth month and i believe is a visitation for somebody i prophesy to anyone hearing the sound of my voice right now wherever you are may the name of jesus work for you tonight in the name of jesus wherever you are whatever be your pain whatever be your problem whatever be that thing you are passing through may you experience the power behind that name may the angel of god visit you today 
and show you the power that is behind that name if your amen is louder may god answer you faster right now glory to god glory to god glory to god the angel was sent on an errand at the sixth month beloved this is another sister and god is visiting another person's house with the same name that is above every other name visiting sickness visiting pain visiting that trouble that visa situation that thing that is eating you up that sinful life that sin you have been struggling with all these years that hardship that situation you are passing through the toughness of the things in this world the hardship of Nigeria as a whole the mighty hand of God is visiting it again the Lord is breaking down the walls of darkness I see divine visitation I see God touching your life I see God changing situations around I see God doing a miracle in somebody's life today wherever you are may you see in this sixth month may you experience angelic visitation in the name of jesus may you experience angelic visitation in that your room in that your office in that your car wherever you are may you experience angelic visitation in the name of jesus may you experience angelic visitation it is the healing crusade the lord is healing your bone the Lord is touching your life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus beloved the name of Jesus is working wonders I remember talking in Abuja I was preaching in Abuja in Lagos in Abuja Nigeria and as I was after ministering a man came to me and he happened to be an atheist and the man said to me you have been preaching about the power that is in the name of Jesus. You have been telling people a lot of things that the blood of Jesus can do. And the man said to me, if that name and that blood works so much wonders like you proclaim, then why are sickness and disease everywhere? Why are there earthquake everywhere? Why is sin so much in the rising? Why are things not changing? Why are things more difficult than before? If that name Jesus and the blood of Jesus has so much strength like you claim. And I look at the man. I don't know what I will answer him. I wonder what I'm going to say to him. As I was just thinking, the Lord dropped the word in my spirit. And I smiled and I said to him, Sir, what do you do for a living? And the man looked at me and said, Oh, I'm a manufacturer. I said, good. So you own a company where they manufacture things? He said, yes. I said, good. I said, what do you manufacture? He said, we produce soap. I said, good. How powerful is your soap? And the man began to explain to me that the soap, if you use the soap, it cures rashes. If you use the soap, it brings out your color. If you breathe, use this soap, he start telling me many things about good, good things about this soap. And I said, and I replied to him, and I said, Why, if your soap can do all these things, why are many people in my country called Nigeria still dirty? Why are people dirty? Why are people still having rashes all over them? Why are people looking so bad and tattered? And the man replied to me and said, the problem is that many of them have not used my soap. If they use my soap, if they can use my soap, that rashes will clear. If they apply it where they have the problem, the rashes will disappear. If they use my soap, if they use our soap from the company, many things will happen. I started smiling. I replied to him. I said, that is the same reason why many people are not healed. Now, if they apply the power in the name Jesus, they will also be saved. The name of Jesus is powerful. The only reason why you have not seen the results as you claim is because many have not used the name. They have not accepted the name. The Bible says, as many that accepted and received him, 
have been given the power to become sons and daughters of the living God. So I said to the man, if you apply it, if you can take the name, if you can accept the name, you will see the power behind the name. If you accept the power in the blood, you will see the change that comes with the blood. Beloved in Christ, the name of Jesus is strong. I remember in the last, last year, June crusade, like this online crusade, somebody gave testimony of where the husband was lying on the sickbed. Lying there on the sickbed. Looking hopeless. But somehow the wife was following the ministry. At the prayer in the name of Jesus. Immediately the prayer, the healing prayer was released. I couldn't see the man. Nobody can see the man. And the man just had the name. Just had the name. The prayer took by the name. Through the phone, just hearing it. Hearing the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. And the power behind the name. Jack up the man. The man got up from the sick bed and recovered that night. And the wife began to jubilate. What manner of God is this? The, what manner of God is this? This man have not worked for weeks. This man have been sick on this bed for weeks. But at the hearing of this prayer that is concluded in the name of Jesus, the woman came up giving testimony jubilating. See, there is power in the name of Jesus. I don't know where you are. I remember also ministry here in Lagos, Nigeria. And I was in a conference and I saw a lady that was having a mental problem. And everybody tried to hold her. She would just use her hand and shake people off. And people were falling and falling. But at the name of Jesus, after applying every method, it didn't work to calm her down. But at the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the miracle took place. Beloved in Christ, hear me and hear me very well. That same name is available today. Wherever you are right now, I may not see you, but I know one thing in this world. Psalm 107 verse 19. The Bible said in verse 19 and verse 20. That he, oh God, sent his word. And his word healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. Do you believe in the power of the word of God? This healing fellowship was given birth to death. So by this verse of the scripture and the Lord said to my spirit he sent his word he said look I create heaven and earth by spoken word I made heaven and earth by spoken word he said I speak and I see what I say I separate the water from the land by spoken word I made everything the way they are by spoken word if you can believe and speak the same you will see the miracle of God and the same thing by that revelation the Lord gave to me is what I am standing on to minister to you through this healing crusade. The Lord said to me, because I made heaven and earth by spoken word, I speak and I see what I have spoken. And I sent my word and my word heal. He said the same way, wherever you speak, wherever you speak, wherever they are, they shall see the miracle. Right now, now I stand on this commission. I stand on this ocean. I pray for you wherever you are. May that situation dissolve in your family. Whatever is not working, whatever is holding you bound, every foul spirit, every foul spirit, every power behind your affliction, every power tying your womb, every power tying your visa, every power holding your miracle, every power holding your destiny, every power holding your future, every power holding you in stagnation, every power saying you will not rise. I speak to you. He sent forth his word and his word here. I command that power. 
in the name of Jesus lose your hold from that man lose your hold from that family in the name of Jesus lose your hold lose your hold lose your hold in the name of Jesus lose your hold at the mention of his name every new power at the mention of his name every tongue confess that he Jesus is Lord he is Jesus is Lord every problem power at the mention of his name every problem power he was giving the name above every other name speak to you if your problem has a name I speak to you now in that sick bed receive your healing I minister healing to your bone I minister to your visa be released in the name of Jesus I minister to your promotion every power wrestling with your destiny the arrival of Jesus is the arrival of power I speak to you in the name of Jesus be loose be loose every affliction every demonic affliction every satanic affliction holding you right now I speak to you loose 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 that man every mental derailment every mentally afflicted man that man that is mentally afflicted I speak I step into the shoe of authority in the name that is above all other name I command you you satanic power lose your hold lose your hold lose your hold lose your hold in the name of Jesus saying it it is happening as I am saying it is happening why am I so sure the Lord told me he gave me that revelation he said I created heaven and earth by my spoken word he said if you say to this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and you don't doubt. You say what you say will come to pass. So the kingdom we are is a speaking kingdom. No wonder even the blood of Jesus is a speaking blood. The Bible says he speaketh better than the blood of Abel. Listen to me. Whenever you come to this God, you need to understand that God is a supernatural being natural law does not hold when mary was told when the name of jesus is in action the natural law does not hold when the name of jesus is in play the natural law does not stand mary replied jesus replied the angel i mean and she said sir it's like you are not in this world sir you don't stay on this earth sir i can see you don't understand what we are saying i am a virgin i know no man sir it simply means in our world there is no way to have a child except by conception and the angel replied i am gabriel i stay in the presence of god in other words i am not from here i am from there and he that is from above is above all and the angel said i am not from the natural i am from the supernatural and where i belong to we agreed and i was asked to tell you that you will conceive whenever we speak natural things does not have law the natural law does not hold when we speak every natural law loses its authority when we speak when we speak from the kingdom where I come from, natural law does not hold. I speak from the heavenlies. And the angel said, the Holy Ghost, Sadamahanda, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And when he comes upon you, this will change. No wonder Jesus told his disciples, 
in Acts 1 8 to wait. He said, When they should wait until the Holy Ghost come upon them. He said, When he comes, they will receive power. Power means ability to change things, ability to turn around situation. And right now, God is asking me to tell you maybe the natural law is against you right now. The doctor said you cannot conceive anymore. The doctor said your womb have ruptured. The doctor said that you have no more womb. But I want you to know there is a supernatural law that can overrule your yesterday and give you a brand new life. When we talk about the name Jesus, that name overrule the natural law. That is why every part of his life, he kept breaking natural law. He walked upon the sea. They said the law of flotation, that anything higher than water will sink. But he came and said, no, that law does not control me. He walked on the sea and he did not sink. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He took loaves and five fishes and he fed 5,000. No, that is not natural law. It is not applicable. But for Jesus, it is applicable. Because we are talking about the supernatural being. The same thing I'm telling you right now. Maybe you have spent all your last card. But I am speaking to you. If you believe me, where you are in your room, a supernatural help is coming to you. Oh yes, you have lost everything in natural things. You have lost everything by nature. There is no hope for you naturally. But listen, there is hope for you super naturally. If there is no hope for you in the natural, hear me, there is hope in the supernatural. David said, I will lift up my from where shall my help come from? <laughs> my help shall come from the Lord. Who makes the heaven and the earth? Are you listening to me? Somebody I'm seeing you. Help is coming to you right now. Yezura Dabakis Yata. Help. <laughs> you are crying in that marriage. You are crying in that finance. Look at you. You are crying that finance. You are weeping that all oh, my mates have gone ahead of me. You are saying, man of God, where will I start from? You say, no, nobody to help me. All oh, my mates are born and they have gone. But listen to me. Watch it. I prophesy to you. By this time next year, <laughs> overtaking grace is coming upon you. Ah, there is an overtaking grace. Receive it where you are right now in the name of Jesus. Overtaking grace. <laughs> my soul magnified. <laughs> my spirit. Ay, 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 ay. Praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Jesus, Jesus. He looks hopeless, I know. Even in the 
soul. One more time, somebody said to him, My soul, my soul. He looked hopeless, I tell you. He looks hopeless in the nature. But supernatural is happening right now. Supernatural is helping you rise now. Supernatural is helping you rise now. Receive. 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 Receive help. Receive help. Receive help. In the name of Jesus. Receive help. Receive help. Receive help. Receive help. Receive help. Receive help. Receive hand, receive hand, receive hand, receive hand, wherever you are, receive supernatural help, supernatural help, supernatural help, supernatural help, supernatural help, upon that your boy, receive supernatural healing, over the brain, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Somebody help me. Doors are opening for you. Where you don't expect, it's opening for you. It's opening for you. Somebody is remembering you right now. Supernatural has gone to work for you. Supernatural is working 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 for you. I release by the power of the anointing. Supernatural help. Supernatural help. Supernatural help. Supernatural help. Supernatural help. Supernatural help. I invoke supernatural help. I invoke supernatural help. Let the angels of God be dispatched to your room, to your house, to your family. That's your boy that cannot walk. I speak. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Show the boros. Show the boros. Rise up. Rise up. I speak to that boy. Rise up. I speak to that brain. Be healed. I speak to that tongue. Open. 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 Bless your hand. Open that child. Open. 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 I minister healing to your business. I minister healing to your marriage. I minister healing to your womb. Be healed. Millions are under. The Bible says, 
principalities are under them. Hear me? Thrones are under them. Powers beneath the earth are under the name. They were created by him and for him. By him were all things made. There were nothing made. Listen, the name of Jesus is powerful. Listen to me. Let me show you about five to six things that makes this name so powerful. When I show you, we'll pray. Number one. Number one. The name of Jesus gives us identity. We are all identified by the name of Jesus. We are all identified by the name Jesus. Remember in Acts 11 verse 26, the disciples were first called Christian. Chris, the Christ like. So, you cannot, there is no other way to be known as a Christian without Christ. So, identity we have as Christian is by his name. So, if you don't have connection to the name, you cannot be a Christian. When they, in Acts chapter 2, the Holy Ghost came, they were not called Christian then. In Acts chapter 3, they healed the sick, but they were not still called Christian. Then. In Acts chapter 4, where they were praying, began to shake, but they were not still called Christian. In Acts chapter 5, they prophesied, but they were not still called fully Christian. In Acts 7 and 8, Stephen went. Philip manifested the power of God in Samaria. Philip manifested the power of God in Samaria. But they were not still called Christian. But beloved, do you know that right in chapter 11 verse 26, as they begin to live their life, the people saw the resemblance of Jesus in their life. When they saw the resemblance of Jesus in their life, the Bible says, they saw how they were helping people. They saw how they were healing people. They saw how they were living a communal life. The Bible says, you don't know who is rich and you don't know who is poor. They were sharing everything in common. They were sharing everything in common. And on that ground, beloved, the Bible said they were called Christ-like. So the identity we have as children of God is by his name number two reason why the name is so powerful why the name is so powerful is because god decided to exalt his name the name is so powerful because it was given by god himself that name was not given by man it was given directly by god the bible says in philippians 2 verse 9 that god had highly exalted him and give him a name that is above every other name. At the mention of that name, every name. I want to ask you a question. What you are passing through now, does he have a name? Whatever you are facing now, does he have any name? Cancer is the name of a sickness. Financial failure is the name of a problem. Badness is the name of a problem. Are you hearing me? It's a name of a problem. That is true. The name of that your problem is not above his name. He was given a name far above every other name. And at the mention of his name, every other name bow. Every knee bow before him. That is what I'm telling you right now. He was exalted. The name has been exalted. That is why the name is so powerful number three there is no other means of assessing god 
and his power except by his name there is no other means of getting answer prayer except by his name john 16 verse 23 jesus said he said up till now you have not asked ask the father anything in my name and it shall be granted to you he said ask now so that your joy shall be full in other words he's saying that there is no other way to get an answer quicker than to go through the name at the mention of his name is anything you ask the father in his name the father will do it number four that gives us makes the name powerful before we pray beloved the name is the power that the believers have to tread on snake and scorpion the name is the authority we have to cast out demons in Mark 16 in 15 and 16 he said believers in my name shall lay their hand on the sick and the shy so if you believe in his name you have authority over powers that be when you believe in his name you have access to manifestation of the supernatural power of God. that is what jesus name guarantees for you. when you have that name working for you <laughs> when you believe in that name today that name have the efficacy it has the strength it has the power to bring you out of shame not only bringing you out enabling you to bring others out the name does not just set you free the name empowers you number five powers bow to the name the name is known even in dark world the name is known even in grave the name is known in heaven not just in heaven even in hell they know the power in that name where the mention of his name even demons bow they say paul we know jesus we know they know the name when the name is mentioned in the kingdom of darkness they tremble when you mention the name in water the water turned to blood when you mention the name in the house of a herbalist it turned the place into fire the herbalist cannot mistakenly call the name if the name is called there all the charm there is destroyed the name has so much power that if there is going to be an accident the name can stop the tire from moving the name is so powerful that even anywhere you call that name powers bow sickness cannot stay in a body when the name is invoked and that is why tonight we are going to invoke the power in the name and anywhere they are tying you get ready because you will soon be loose tonight because the name is above all other name the name is saving somebody here tonight the name is healing somebody here tonight the name is healing somebody here tonight there is power in the name 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 there is power in the name, in the name. hallelujah hey. there is power there is power in the name there is power in the name there is power in the name of Jesus yeah. there is power Shalom. in the name of Jesus Breaking every chain. Breaking every chain. I 
believe. Breaking every chain. I believe. Hey, hey, hey. I believe. Breaking the chain of cancer. I believe. Breaking the chain of love. I believe. Breaking the chain of sickness. I believe. The chain of paradise. I believe. Breaking the chain of famine. I believe. Breaking the chain of insanity. I believe. Breaking the chain of crippleness. I believe. Breaking the chain of prison. I believe. Breaking the chain of bondage. I believe. Breaking the chain. I believe. Breaking I believe, Lord. 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 I believe, is breaking chains. 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 Higher. Yes, Lord. Welcome, Ma. I see something in this way. Welcome, Ma. I see something. I see something. Somebody look at you. I saw where somebody was jubilating. Somebody you are jubilating. You are just jumping and jubilating. And I'm asking in the name of the spirit, what happened to him? They said, look, all her money, all her sweat, all his sweat, I mean, sorry. All his sweat of several years that have been held bound that have been denied of him all his promotion all his gratuity all his reward for labor God said it has just been released God said it has just been released he said that is why he's celebrating I don't know who is the person the Lord said it has just been released. Okay, Claim it's night has just been released. Okay, hey, bossy. <laughs> you are a miracle walking down. Oh, glory to God. Okay, oh, glory hey. to God. Okay, glory to hey. God. You are a glory to God. What a miracle walking down. What a miracle. Okay, what a miracle walking down. Okay, we are worshiping and he's doing something. You are a He's doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something somewhere. He's doing something for somebody. Oh, glory. See what the Lord is doing. See what the Lord is doing. Somebody contract. You have forgotten the contract. Don't say you have forgotten the contract. You are it. He said, but I have put it back on the table. He said, in the midst of hardship. He said, in the midst of hardship. They will give you the contract. In the midst of this things happening in Nigeria. He said, look at it. It's happening in Nigeria. He said it's happening in Nigeria. He said, but I will award your own contract. A very huge contract. A very big contract. A very mighty contract. Yeah. yeah. 
surrender to the name apply power that is in them apply it apply the authority the power that is in them apply it stand in that name and command the devil to leave your body use that name as a weapon against fouls that name is a weapon use it as a weapon once you have come into the fellowship once you have come into the beloved, once you have accepted him, use your authority in the days. Use it to cripple powers. Use it to crush down forces. Use it to destroy powers of darkness. Use it to tell that sickness in your leg to leave. Use it to command that power holding your husband to leave your husband alone. Use it to command that spirit of drunkenness to leave your body. The light shines in darkness and darkness cannot come to Apply power that is in that name. Use that name. He was wonderful. He has given him a name. God has given him a name above every other name. Listen to me. That name will work for you tonight. Anywhere you are, any area of your life, Satan is holding. We will apply the force in the name. 
Satan must lose you tonight. Now you have understanding what makes that name unique. It is not an ordinary name. It is not an ordinary name. It is not like Juliet. It is not an ordinary name. It is an anointed name. It is an anointed name. That is why the Bible calls him Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It means Jesus the anointed one of Nazareth. He's anointed one. The name is anointed. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. That name worked wonder for you here today. I remember ministering. And in a crowd like this, a, a footballer had broken his hand, had an injury in the left hand, and he was hearing the word of God. As the word of God was going on, word of God was going on, the man applied his faith and used his right hand in the, in the heat of the war, hit the left hand. Boom! You foul spirit! Leave my pole, Rapa Paku. And he said, The hand twist. We made the hand twist. He screamed. Ah, he screamed. And people helped him. What happened to you? He said, As the word was going, I feel something. I hit my hand on it with the name of Jesus. And by the time the man would get back himself, the hand of twisted back. Rabo shall rise again. Rabo shall rise again. Hey, you know it's rising again. Hey, Rabo shall rise again. Say it again. Rabo. Oh, 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 oh,
power in that name Jesus. believe me believe me when God's word is born, a man leave the world and they apply the word miracles happen your miracle is hidden in revelation of the world now you have seen why the name is special the name of jesus is a weapon god has given to every child of god now you have the weapon sister you have the weapon in your hand let the devil hear you talk. the next time they try you tell them that name is not a common name Tell them that that name is not like every other. Tell them that that name has no sin. Tell them that that name has no contamination. Tell them that that name was given by God Himself. Tell them that that name was empowered by God. Tell them that that name was given to believers to take dominion over the powers. Say, tell them that that name conquered darkness. Tell them that that name conquered grave. Tell them that that name conquered death. Tell them that there is power in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are now, get up. Wherever you are, get up. Come on. 